Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about localized dry wood termite treatments and how you can confidently exterminate termites in all of those difficult and hard to reach places like behind drywall or stucco with this guy, the XT2000 Boroscope. <laughs> All of us have been in the following situation. A customer calls up and there's termites coming out of a kick out hole or a small pinhole in the drywall. Right there, that's where the termites are coming from. And you show up and you know it's dry with termites, but you don't know the extent of the infestation behind the drywall or the stucco because you know that little kick out hole is just the tip of the iceberg. Now, commonly and in the past, fumigation for infestations in inaccessible and invisible areas was the best and most common practice, okay? But fumigations weren't always possible in duplexes, in apartments, in hotels, in attached structures, or even in sensitive living situations, fumigation just isn't an option. So a localized treatment became necessary. And let me tell you, those localized treatments were brutal. Okay, so we're about to execute a local dry wood termite treatment. You would have to tear off the drywall, you'd have to take out the insulation, probe and test each beam and each two by four individually, and then if you found termites, you would treat them locally with foam or with right XT2000 there. or your preferred termiticide. Right. Then you'd spray a preservative all over the wood and then put new insulation on and new drywall back on. And I mean, it was brutal, okay? All of that drywall removal is now rendered completely unnecessary because of this guy, the XT2000 Boroscope. Now, what is this Boroscope? It's pretty simple. It's actually very similar to the digital scopes that we often use to find beehives or to find rodents behind walls, but it's got an insanely higher resolution because it's 100% optical. This is actually the exact same technology that doctors use in order to peer through your stomach into your belly or into your abdominal cavity whenever they're performing some kind of surgery. And let me tell you, this thing is crystal clear and it's pretty easy to use. This is the process and how it will save you from having to do fumigations. First, you got to show up to the customer's house and identify that kick out hole and find where the infestation is, okay? Right there, that's where the termites are coming from. Now, once you've found it, take a stud finder and mark all of the studs in the wall. Then you drill a small half inch hole in the drywall at the base of the wall at an angle so you can slip the boroscope into the wall to peer and look at all of the studs behind that drywall so you can figure out which ones are infested and which ones aren't. And having an optical boroscope is so helpful because the digital ones were low enough resolution that it was easy to confuse cricket feces with termite pellets or sawdust from roofing with termite pellets or any other kind of building material or debris with termite pellets and you might unnecessarily treat a wood beam. With this thing, let me tell you, it is crystal clear and you can totally see what's going on behind that wall. Now, once you've marked where all of the studs are and which studs are infested, all you need to do is use the extension tip on your XT2000 BNG and inject through the drywall into the studs behind every stud that you suspect or see with the boroscope is infested. And once you've done that, all you need to do is use some kind of a spackle or bathtub caulk in order to seal the holes that you created and the customer won't even be able to tell where you did the treatment and you can walk away confident that you have exterminated all of the dry wood termites in that wall. And this boroscope comes in a little kit and it even has this little light at the end so if it's in a dark spot you can see it and it doesn't actually flush out all of the light inside. So if you've got any kind of questions about the XT2000 boroscope, about scoping walls, about best practices of pest or termite control or orange oil, make sure that you make a comment below. Leave me your question in the comments below and we'll continue the conversation there. This is Unipest Termite and Pest Control. See you guys in the next video.